Hey baby girls, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a full leg wax using gel wax and paper strips. I like to set my gel wax between 85 and 95 degrees. This is because I have a metal in a pot. I begin to cleanse the first leg from the top to the bottom. Don't forget the tops of the feet and the toes. I use a dry tissue to ensure the area is fully dry before I apply my wax. My favourite wax to use is Salon Systems Cherry Blossom Gel Wax. I find the texture super thin which makes it so much easier to apply. I dip my clean spatula in the wax and I start from just under the knee and I work usually from left to right applying a whole line of wax with each fresh application. I cover the whole bottom half of the fronts of the legs before I begin to remove anything. I personally find working with paper strips so much easier than fabric strips. I apply the wax strip to the bottom of the leg and I work my way up the leg. Make sure you apply the strip using firm pressure and have a generous tab to hold on to. You will find your hands will stay cleaner and not as sticky by allowing a bigger tab. And I pull the strip off in the opposite direction of the hair growth, making sure to hold the skin nice and taut so we're not causing any bruising or any unnecessary pain to the client. I also find using a fresh strip when the strip is starting to feel a bit heavy um, stops me getting messy and stops the wax from flicking around. Make sure you have all residue of wax off the legs before moving on to the next area. So the feet can be a little more tricky as feet tend to be a bit more cooler in temperature. This is what makes the wax cool down and makes it hard to remove. So I like to warm the feet up in my hands first or I rub a tissue back and forth to make the toes a little easier to wax. I always include toes and feet in the service when doing a full leg wax. I just feel like you don't want to be walking out there with fresh legs and hairy toes. Moving on to the knees. I always have my client's knee bent and I work from the top of the knee to the bottom. When I first started out, I used to hate waxing knees as they also can be a bit tricky. If someone has dry knees, the wax can sometimes get a bit stuck. If this ever happens, please don't worry or panic. It happens to the most experienced of technicians too. Just apply firm pressure, firmer than usual, and sometimes it just needs a slightly different angle to be removed and it'll come right off. But Helen has super easy knees to work with, so thank you Helen for that. And as you can see, I just got Helen to stretch above the knee just to ensure her skin was super taut. Try and be super keen in spotting any wax residue left on the legs as this can be really annoying when the client's putting their trousers back on. Um, and also I just tweeze any hairs if I've missed it with the wax or if they're stubborn. So keeping the leg bent, I'm going to do the outer area at the top of the thigh and this time I work in smaller areas as the hairs usually on the thighs grow slightly different angles. You can see this area of hair is growing in the opposite direction to the others, so make sure you apply your wax in the direction of hair growth. And then again, I'm just going to remove going in the opposite direction of hair growth. So a full leg wax service doesn't go into the bikini line, it literally just goes up to the top of the thigh. 
so you normally tend to stop where a pair of short shorts would finish. Once I'm satisfied that area is all hair free, I then work on the front section of the thigh. My hands have started to feel a bit sticky, so I just apply a little bit of after oil and this just takes any wax residue off my hands. I'm now applying the wax on the tops of the thighs, keeping the skin nice and taut for a smooth application. The direction of hair growth is slightly angled, so I'm just going to pull off in the opposite direction. It's essential when working in the inner thighs you have a super taut stretch. This is because the area is most fleshy and has more movement. I apply the wax in two different sections on the inner thighs as the hairs are growing in two total different directions. This will stop the hairs from snapping and it will allow the waxing results to last longer. Whilst the leg is sat in this position, I like to wax the lower half of the inner section also. This makes it easier to wax the backs of the legs. After I finish waxing the whole of the front of the leg, I apply some after wax lotion just to soothe the leg whilst I work on the other side. So we have one smooth front leg, so let's work on the next one following the exact same steps. Once you have finished both front legs, I turn the client over and I work on the backs, making sure to cleanse again. Making your client bend their foot in this position makes it so much easier and more comfortable for you and your client to wax the lower half. I apply the wax to the whole of the lower half of the leg before I start removing with my strips. The foot can now be relaxed to do the upper half of the leg. Helen's direction of hair growth on the back of the legs is all growing in the same direction so I can apply my wax all over the back of the thigh in one big area. To finish that leg I apply some after lotion 
to soothe all that area. This feels absolutely amazing. It's my favorite bit. Um, and if you've ever had your legs waxed before, you know how soothing this bit feels. Then you will repeat the exact same steps on the other leg. What a difference a leg wax can make. It usually lasts around four to six weeks and everyone is different with how they rate the pain. I hope you enjoyed this full leg wax video and learned some new tips and tricks. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.